How can we tell which of these street lamps is further away? The obvious answer is that the dimmer lamps are more distant. But what assumptions did we have to make? Well, we assume here that all of the lamps are giving out the same amount of light in the first place. A similar method can be used to determine the distance to stars. If we assume that all of the stars have the same power output, then comparing their brightness will tell us how far away they are. Unfortunately, not all stars do have the same power output. Larger or hotter stars will emit more radiation per second than smaller or cooler stars. The total power emitted by a star is known as its luminosity. This is measured in watts. The intensity of the light from the star as measured on Earth is known as its apparent brightness, and this is measured in watts per square metre. You may already be familiar with the equation relating intensity and power, that is, intensity equals power divided by surface area. We can replace I and P with apparent brightness B and luminosity L respectively to give us B brightness equals L luminosity divided by A surface area. But what is this area? When light is emitted from a star, it travels in all directions, spreading out as it does so. It is like an inflating sphere of light, where the power is being spread across the surface area of that sphere. So the area in our equation is the surface area of a sphere with a radius equal to the distance from the star. So this gives us our final equation, brightness equals luminosity divided by 4 pi multiplied by the distance to the star squared. 4 pi r squared, of course, is the surface area of a sphere. So 4 pi d squared gives us the surface area of a sphere where the radius is the distance between the star and the observer. For example, Betelgeuse has an apparent brightness b equal to 2.0 times 10 to the power of minus 7 watts per square meter. It is 4.0 times 10 to the power of 18 meters away. What is Betelgeuse's luminosity? So L equals B multiplied by 4 pi d squared. So we substitute the numbers in, 2.0 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 7, multiplied by 4 pi, multiplied by 4.0 times 10 to the power of 18, all squared, gives us a luminosity of 4.02 times 10 to the power of 31 watts. That's the power output of Betelgeuse. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.